Frank Lloyd Wright, born 1867, was a famous American architect and writer. His prairie style became the basis of the 20th century residential design throughout America. Wright attended the University of Wisconsin in 1885 but did not study architecture. His study consisted of engineering courses, which he used to get a job to support his family and increase the family income. However, he did not like the situation he found himself in as he dreamed of living in Chicago, where buildings of incredible structural ingenuity were on the rise. So in 1887, he moved there, now working for an artist named J. L. Silsby by doing architectural detailing. He then worked for the prestigious architectural firm of Dankmar Adler and Louis Sullivan before opening his own architectural practice. His first work, a residential house, was good enough to attract the attention of one of the most influential architects in Chicago, Daniel Burnham. He wanted Wright to move to Europe and become Burnham's principal designer, but Wright refused. He wanted to improve architecture in the Midwest. By 1900, Prairie School architecture, a trend that Wright was leading, was recognised as a new approach for designing homes, defying the conventional box-like structures of the average house. Prairie houses were usually two storeys high with single storey wings, including ribbon windows, gentle sloping roofs, heavy set chimneys, overhangs and sequestered gardens. Prairie school architecture was known for its comfort, convenience and spaciousness that were economically achieved while avoiding elaborate compartmentalisation. Between 1900 and 1910, Frank Lloyd Wright alone built 50 prairie houses. By 1909, Wright's estrangement from his wife and then relationship with Mama Cheney, wife of a former client, damaged his reputation enough that commissions were hard to come by. That year, he started work on his own home before he moved to Europe. He then published two books in Germany of his architectural work, which then became famous. From 1911, his career had suffered from bad publicity due to his relationship with Cheney. He did, however, make one of his prairie masterworks for one of his loyal clients in 1908. Four years later, he designed his first skyscraper, although it was never built. Then, in 1914, Cheney and her children, who were now living in Japan, were murdered by an insane houseman, with part of the house being destroyed by a fire. Wright was not in the country at the time, as he was working on the construction of the Midway Gardens in the USA. One of his most significant works was the Imperial Hotel, built between 1915 and 1922. Due to its revolutionary floating cantilever construction, it was one of the few buildings that survived a Tokyo earthquake in 1923. Due to the continuous struggle to get commissions due to the scandals that surrounded him, his finances dried up in 1926. The bank seized his house. A year earlier, it had burned down a second time, on this occasion by lightning, and he had to sell his prized collection of Japanese prints. Two years later, he remarried to Olga Varner Hitzenberg, the 1929 stock market crash all but ended architectural construction in the USA, so he began teaching in Chicago, New York and Princeton. In the mid-1930s, as the national US economy recovered, he had re-emerged as a leading architect, constructing his most famous piece, Falling Water, in 1936. After its ridiculous success, commissions for every kind of building were sent to Frank Lloyd Wright. Two of those structures, the New York Guggenheim Museum and the Marion County Government Centre appear in the following top five Frank Lloyd Wright structures list. 5. Marion County Government Centre Sadly, this was Frank Lloyd Wright's last commission and he did not witness its completion as he died in 1959, three years before its completion. Its curving structure mirrors the surrounding landscape. 4. Avery Coonley House Along with the Robbie House, this is his prairie masterwork and has recently been sold for just over $1 million. Placing the playroom at the ground level, the main dining and living rooms are raised to the second floor, with the bedrooms, guest rooms, kitchens and servants area given their own wing. Inspired by the flat landscape of the prairies, Wright employed long horizontal lines and an overhanging hipped roof. 3. Imperial Hotel This is Wright's best known building in Asia. He combined his principles from the west with his fascination with Japan. His keen interest in Japanese art, which as previously stated he eventually sold, meant that he was desperate to win the bid for its design. Although it is no longer standing, it showcased Japan's modernness, which successfully generated Western visitors to the structure. 2. New York Guggenheim This cylindrical building is wider at the top than at the bottom. 
A unique ramp gallery flows throughout the interior, allowing visitors to view all of its art collections, which are also shared with its sister structure, the Bilbao Guggenheim, designed by Frank Gehry. Millions of people visit every year. 1. Falling Water A carefully built structure in one of the most unique places in the world, this National Historic Landmark is known throughout the world. It has been named the best all-time work from an American architect. It's known for its perfect integration with nature. This is undoubtedly an architectural masterpiece.